Once upon a time, in a Minecraft world far, far away, lived me. Hello everyone, this is Stacy, and welcome to a brand new series on my channel called Bookcraft. A land where I build things out of the world from my favorite stories. So, fittingly, the texture pack that I'm using for this series is actually called Storyblock. And I chose it because I loved uh, so many elements of it, particularly this font on the title screen here. Uh, the M, it reminds me somewhat of Sleeping Beauty, which is one of my favorite all-time uh, classic Disney films. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get started with the story. Okay, the world is loading in, and let's see what we've got here. Uh, we've got some cows. This is my very first, if you can believe it or not, I've been playing Minecraft for a while, but this is my first solo survival series that is not modded. It just is regular Minecraft. So this is going to be fun. I'm gonna go ahead here and grab uh, some trees. I'm gonna have to just start from scratch and start collecting everything. Uh, this is going to be a really fun series. I'm basically going to be choosing some of my favorite books from when I was a kid uh, and building things from those worlds. And I'll tell you the books in advance so you can, you know, read them if you want and follow along. You don't have to do that. I'm not assigning you homework. Uh, but I think the books are appropriate for all ages. It's, uh, you know, they're, they're books that I think are just books that for me, you know, I, I loved. They transported me to, to different worlds and I'm excited to, to build things from that world because what I've, uh, figured out about myself is that I love building in Minecraft. I really do. And so I wanted to do a series where I built a lot of things okay so I'm just making myself some wooden tools right now in my cool crafting table and I'm probably going to kill these cows <laughs> let's just be honest uh, I don't know how much day okay it's midday this is good um, sorry I'm a cow tipper I've got to find a place to set up camp I have to uh, collect just tons of resources I probably need some more wood actually before I I head down into that desert because there's not a lot of trees but I think a desert would be a great place to go because there could be like a desert temple and that could be a really great jump start to this series um, you know it's it's gonna take a few episodes to get into the actual building because I'm going to have to collect so many resources uh, to, to be able to do all the builds that I want to do so in this episode, I will be saying the book that we're going to start the series with, but by no means am I going to be building things uh, in the next episode. It's going to take a while to set up uh, my, my base. Uh, but basically, I'm going to build this big library, and it's going to house all of the books uh, that I build things from. I'm super excited for this. Uh, I just need to find some sheepies so that I can sleep and not have to be up at night. Ooh, oh, pigs. Look at the, oh, a cave. That's tempting, actually. I'm going to grab that coal uh, just so I have some. To come back here. Come back here. Ooh, seeds. Wait, did I get the seeds? I think I got the seeds. Uh, let's get all you guys. I'm sorry. If this was where I was going to build my house, I would, you know, put you in fences and keep you all as my pets. Oh, this feels like dog craft. I'm just murdering cows and pigs. Um, but I'm going to need so much leather. I'm going to need sugar cane. I hear a zombie. Uh, I'm going to need ink sacks because I'm going to be making a lot of books in this series. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and grab this, uh, this coal. I don't think I want to get to mining straight away. I think I'll have lots of time for that. I don't think I need... Uh, crazy tools. My survival skills have improved somewhat uh, over the last, you know, year of playing Minecraft. So I don't think that I'm in desperate need of iron tools. Um, I say that now, <laughs> but uh, actually, let me get some cobblestone while I'm here because I'm gonna need all stone tools, a furnace to cook all this meat. Otherwise, look at that. I'm already running low on food. Oh boy. 
I should make a stone pickaxe quickly because this is taking forever with this wooden one. Uh, there, we'll call that we'll call that good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna cave later. I'd rather find a a good setup for my home. Uh, I need something that touches a lot of biomes because I'm going to be uh, okay. So the library is actually going to be a library slash train station. Um, and if you've never heard one of the of one of those, it's probably because I just made it up. <laughs> uh, it's going to be uh, a library slash train station that transport you uh, transports you to the world or the part of my world where I'm going to be building uh, from my different books. Because some books will take place like in a desert, or some books will take place, you know, in snow. So, ooh, cactus. I mean, I am in a desert. I don't need to come over for this cactus. But I'm going to grab it. I'm grabbing everything. I'm going to need to make a, a sugarcane farm. I'm going to need to make a, a cactus farm. Ooh, there's iron right there. Let's actually grab that just since it's right there on the surface. Um, why did I do that? I already had stickies. It's going to take me a while to get used to how everything looks in this. But I think it's really perfect for this series. Um, all right, let's grab this. Is that it? That's fine. We'll make a pickaxe. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and go. I'm I'm not exactly sure where I want to build my house. I just know that it needs to, like I said, surround a lot of different biomes and also um, have kind of a, a plain sort of a feel, like be a little out in the open. Um, let's see where. Which direction do I want to go? I guess let's head off. I don't know. Let's head off in this direction. Um, this desert's pretty cool. Uh, I'll definitely... I, I like having a desert nearby, but I wouldn't want to live in a desert because it is open, so that is good because I'd have a lot of room to build. Uh, however, there's just so many mobs that spawn at night in the desert, and I just am realizing that we're not going to find any sheep by coming over here. Um, but if we find a desert temple, it'll all be worth it. Um, let me come. I'm gonna come up here. It's getting night. No, we don't have a bed. Oh, okay. Can I see anything up here? Anything at all? <gasps> That's a village. That is a village right over there. I can. You can barely see it uh, because of this. Um, all the buildings blend in so beautifully. Uh, oh, that's a nice cave. Uh, hello, village. Oops. This is perfect. This, I, I mean, I don't know. It could have crops. It could have a chest. Um, it could be a great, it kind of looks small though, but at least I'll be safe. I'll be safe tonight. I can cook up some food. Hello, villagers. I'm in need of shelter for the evening. This is perfect timing, actually. Hello? Uh, hello? Anyone in here? Any chests? No? Um, please have some chests, please. Hello? Oh, hey guys. Hi. Uh, hmm. No. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt you with your flower. Um, oop, that's skeleton. Skeleton already. I don't think that there's any, um... Darn it, is this all the buildings? Really? It's in... <gasps> Bookcases! Oh, hello. Oh, hello, librarian. Um, so don't mind me. I'm going to check out a few books from you. Um, just let me know when the return date is. And, um... Oh, there's a zombie at the door. Uh, listen. I, I feel like Belle in Beauty and the Beast. Like, that one? You've read it before. I know, but it's my favorite. Uh, okay, let me go ahead and kill this guy. I must defend the villagers that are offering me safe harbor. Ooh, brains, and I'm a monster hunter. Um, hello, I'm gonna also take your crafting table, because I'm sure I'll need two. Uh, and, you know, I'm here. I've got time to kill, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Please don't hate me. Um, where do you recommend I go after this? Oh, a mushroom forest. That's interesting. Um, and a witch too. I actually, let me put that crafting table back down because I think I could make some better tools while I'm waiting here. Oh, and get my stuff smelted. Um, let's go ahead and do a furnace first. 
There we go. Hot topic. And let's cook all of... Does that say 21 or 27 or... Goodness. Um, are there any torches in here? I should grab some torches. Hello. Die. 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 I'm going to use all of... Don't go out there. Uh, I'm going to use all my coal, which is unfortunate. I should grab... I'm going to grab one piece of it back and make... I just need to have at least four torches. Otherwise, I'll feel like the worst Minecraft player in the world. Um, all right, let's go ahead and make uh, a stone sword because this wood sword will break quickly. And let's make, is that, I have a stone pickaxe. Um, I guess let's just go ahead and make a stone axe. Oh, and then I can use, um, I can actually just use these wood tools and, and burn them. Uh, to get my yum, my yummy steak. Let's put this away. There we go. And... Oh! I'm not doing horribly. I don't... I wish that this village had a farm. I would have been set. I could have got carrots, wheat, potatoes. It would have been perfect. Don't you need food? How are you living? Okay. Anyway. Um... I'm wondering if we go ahead and just chance it and make a run for it. Oop, another zombie. Oh my goodness! I forgot to do the word of the episode. Okay, so in this series, every episode, I'm going to do a word uh, at the beginning of the episode. And so today's... Ah! Oh no! Uh, today's word is going to be persnickety. Do you know what it means? I bet that you do. Uh, persnickety means someone who is very focused on the details, almost too much so. They're very fussy and particular. I like to remember persnickety because it kind of sounds like picky, and someone who's picky is definitely persnickety. Um, but that's a fun word, so I thought that that would be fun to do every episode. Uh, would you like some steak? Okay. All right. Um... Okay, what else do we, do we need to do anything? Oh, no, I don't want to trade with you. Um, all right, let's grab, grab our pickaxe. Oh gosh, it's properly night now. I see an enderman, two zombies, two spiders, another enderman, another zombie. Who keeps opening the doors? Your friends are weird. Uh, let's grab the crafting table back. Is there anything else we can make at this point? We don't need rotten flesh. Let's throw this away. And... I mean, we're doing pretty well. 12 leather. I'm, I'm pretty happy so far. Um, I think I just picked up the, the flesh again. Oops! This is probably a horrible idea. I probably shouldn't go out here, especially since I haven't slept. Uh, oh. Why aren't there beds in villages? <gasps> there should be! Every village should have a at least one bed huh um all right well i guess this is as good a time as any to introduce the first book that we are going to be building things out of in this series and like i said these are books that from my childhood really inspired me or just sort of like were my favorites um you know my mom is a huge reader she's a librarian and so these are just some of the, the favorite books of mine that she introduced me to. So the first book we're going to be building things out of, I don't know for how many episodes, probably a, a good chunk of episodes, is called The 21 Balloons. And it's by William Dubois. And I'm pretty sure you can get it on Amazon. Like they have little paperbacks for, for really inexpensive, I think like $5. Um, so if you want to order it and read along, you're welcome to. Uh, or... or you know, request it from your library. Uh, there's going to be, you know, plenty of time because I'm going to be collecting so many materials. Like the things I need to do, I have it all in my head. I've got to, I've got to get a sheep farm and get a rainbow sheep farm going uh, so that I have tons of wool. Uh, I have to try to find some, some like clay. So I'm sort of looking for a mesa. Um, that would be the most ideal place to find to, to build a home so that I have lots of building materials. Um, sand, obviously, I'll have no problem getting here, um, for, uh, glass and stuff like that. You are taking a risk right now, sir. There are zombies out, and you could turn. I just want you to know. Um, anyway, 
Thank you so much for harboring me. What do you think of my book selection? Uh, it's going to be good. Uh, like I said, please don't feel like, oh, this is, you know, a book for kids. That's the point. <laughs> Those are the best kind. Uh, and they're really, really quick to read. Uh, I mean, you could read an entire book in the time that it takes to watch, like, a couple of Minecraft videos. Um, okay, the moon is going down, so I think we should, I think we should start off soon. I'm going to go in this direction uh, over towards that... Uh, that forest. Oops, skeleton. Do I want to risk it? As soon as I start to see the sun. Moon? Okay. Let's just, let's just go for it. We're going for it. We went for it. Horrible decision. The sun is coming up, though. Hi, spider. Oh, you know what? I want string, actually. Because I could make... Ooh, string. I could make a bow. Uh, oh, look, sunrise. Ah, oh, perfect. Um... Creeper over there. All right, this isn't too bad. Things will start, things will start burning off soon, uh, and hopefully we can just find, uh, find somewhere to to build our library over here. Ooh, more pigs. Don't mind if I do. Oh, spider. Let's get some more string, please. Ooh, eyeball. A oh, baby zombie. Why? Get away. You're cute though. Um, oh gosh. I have to say, I like the idea of doing a survival series after I've had a lot of practice playing Minecraft. Um, because I think my skills have definitely... I'm a lot more confident um, in my abilities. Is this still my... My sword looks weird. Um, okay. Let me grab some more pigs. Ooh, an egg. Hopefully that will... Okay, string please. Are you coming after me? It's daytime. You shouldn't come after me. Yes. Uh, all right, let's go over here to the water. It's really pretty. Actually, I'm gonna make a boat. That's a great idea. Um, ooh, squids. I need ink. Sorry, guys. Oh, look at that. Look how cool that looks. Oh, ink sacks. They're like ink bottles. I'm gonna need a lot of that to make uh, book and quills. Um, okay, let me put down my crafting table. Here's a zombie somewhere. And let's craft a boat. <gasps> look at my boat. Look at my boat. Oh, what? Um, oh, good. I got seeds. Let's grab this. Eat a steak. And let's put my boat down. Oh, doesn't have a sail. It's just a raft. <laughs> hey, this is awesome, though. I'm like Tom Sawyer and Huck Finn. <laughs> it's very fitting. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and not get uh, killed by a squid. And let's go see what lands we can find. I really like the swamps, how the water kind of turns green uh, in the swamps with this resource pack. I'm a fan. Oh, I kind of, oh, I should get the lily pads. I want to, this is actually a really good area because I have a swamp. I have a desert. Looks like I have a birch forest over here. So I'm not hating this general area. Are those flowers? I think those are flowers up there. Ooh. Look at our little water effect. <laughs> I love it. The only thing, the clouds, I might turn clouds off because they're very Minecrafty. Um, all right, let's jump out of my boat so we don't break it. Oh, boat, boat is still going. <gasps> That's a mesa. This is mesa. <gasps> Yay! Yes, this is exactly what we needed. Let me come and get my, I want to get my boat. There's no sense in wasting it. This is a huge mesa. Look at it. It's over there and there. And then we've got flowers right here. I don't think it's a flower forest. It would be amazing if it was. Is it? It's a lot of flowers. Are these tulips? What are you? It's a tulip. That might be a flower forest. Usually you don't get tulips just randomly. Uh, sorry, cow. Um, I'm new here. And... You know, I'm just worried that we'll fight over territory. <laughs> ah, okay, let's see. Um, I hate killing these cows. I want to be friends with all Minecraft animals. Gotcha. Oh, do they have tags on? <gasps> they have cowbells on. Uh, actually, I think I just read a study that someone did that said that cowbells are actually uh detrimental to cows because they cause like deafness or something which then can cause like paranoia in the ca anyway i don't know where we got off on that tangent hello chicken 
Look at you. Um, gonna need feathers for my book and quill, so sorry about that. Um, but let's go over and explore this mesa because this is the ideal uh, situation. <gasps> no. This is the place. This is the most rare thing I think I've ever seen. This is beautiful. It's perfect. This is wonderful. I'm going to kill you, pig. This is... Oh, you know, I just got really excited because I realized I'm playing in 1.8 so I can craft coarse dirt. So in my pig pen, I can have dirt and it'll look like mud because these pug pigs have mud on them. <gasps> Guys, this is a mushroom. This is a, this is a mushroom island biome that is not an island. Let me re, let me rephrase that or just reiterate it. A mushroom island biome that is not a mushroom island. Hello, mushroom. I guess I'm going to be eating mushroom stew in this series. That's, it's, uh, I have an endless supply right here. Look at this. There has to be an ocean over on this side. Uh, there has to be because normally these things spawn in the middle of the ocean. And it's really hard to find them because you have to go completely into the middle of the ocean. And this is next to land. And not just any land. A mesa. My home. This is this is the best of both worlds. Um, and this is the perfect home for book craft. Because I can, I have, oh yeah, there is ocean over here. Look at this. This is perfect. This is perfect. And there's just this little grassy patch right here in between both of them that could probably work uh, to build my home. Uh, and I'm thinking of doing a home possibly in the style of Beauty and the Beast in Belle's home. Um, okay, can I just like start, can I break into song here? Like, I want adventure in, <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I won't. This is not a Disney series, this is a book series. Thank you. Um, done. Sold. Thank you, Realtor. I will take this piece of property here. I think this was actually a pretty good episode. Uh, because I have a lot of equipment here already. <gasps> oh, Mesa. Home sweet Mesa and Mushroom Island, which is completely amazing. Uh, okay, this is it. I'm not going to kill you guys. Congratulations. You won the Minecraft Animal Lottery. I am going to corral you and breed you mercifully for, for food. Oh, sorry. Merci mercifully? Merci... Merci... Mercy, what am I trying to say? M merciless, mercilessly. Oh dear, let's go back to the word of the day. Uh, I wasn't going to try to be too persnickety about uh, where I built, but I am glad that I found this place. This is the perfect, uh, the perfect map. Uh, I'm probably going to be doing a lot of work in between episodes on this series so that when we start a new episode, I've made a little bit more progress so that it's not completely starting from scratch. Um, but I will show some of the like the mining stuff that I do, but I probably will get to work setting up like some fences and some chests. Um, I have to decide whether I want to build my house and my library. Uh, you know what? There's plenty of room. There's like this whole area here and then there's all this room. Uh, over here. This is exactly what I wanted actually uh, When I said that I kind of wanted plains um, Like a patch of grass, but then surrounded by lots of other various biomes. So this is perfect All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here, but I'm super excited for this series I hope you are too uh, I'm I'm excited more than anything to look back at this episode and see where we started because I have huge plans for this series and for building. So I hope you stick around with me and, uh, and follow along. Until next time, Paige and Molly love you. Go rescue a dog.